Joining us now from San Diego, KFMB radio talk show host Mike Slater, radio talk show host Sam Sorbo, also author of the book The Answer. Good to have you both with us. Uh, first, let, let's start with the, if we may, with the email, uh, the suggestion by this president that there's nothing here, keep moving. Uh, I've decided that uh, there's nothing influencing national security. Now the FBI, Sam, is just furious. Uh, their agents who are investigating this prejudged again. Yeah, prejudged again. And this is from a president who has said in the past, oh, I don't want to weigh in on that because I won't comment on ongoing investigations when, of course, he does comment on ongoing investigations. But I have to ask, how insignificant does Hillary Clinton think she would be when she took the position that she would never get classified emails? That's the uh, real question is how insignificant did she think she you know, was? I think that's or a great when she first got an email that she didn't even that she didn't even notify people don't send me classified information. It's absurd. Well, also think about the level uh, if you will and I'd like you both to respond to this. Uh, the, the the idea Mike that people sending her uh, they have to know that that's not a a, a secure server when they her uh, why would they send classified material to her? Well, first of all, I agree with Bernie Sanders. I am so sick of hearing about her darn emails. Can we just put her in jail already or whatever the punishment should be? <laughs> I'm sick of talking about it. Let's just be done with it. Um, remember <laughs> when one of the emails that came out, it was her, it was like an underling of hers who was like, listen, I can't send you this information. It's secure. And she said, just email it anyway. Usually it's the other way around. Usually right. it's the subordinate who's like, hey, I'll just do whatever I want. And the superior is like, no, we got to follow the rules. It switched around. She knows she broke the law. She knows it. Sam, as we look at this, this scandal right now, the FBI is upset, but we also know that this, this president has got the final judgment here. His politicized Justice Department, of which the FBI is part, uh, what are the prospects here for an actual prosecution? Because the facts of the case line up fairly evenly with that of David Petraeus. Yes, and and uh, and yet it, they also they also line up pretty well with uh, uh, Jeffrey Sterling, who's uh, sentenced to prison, mm -hmm. and yet uh, Jeffrey Sterling's an underling, so he has to go to prison. David Petraeus, not so much. He can do a plea plea bargain. It, it, the, the whole thing, this this smacks of tyranny. This smacks of Obama being the one who gets to make the final decision. Uh, heads, uh, you know, heads you win, tails you lose. He gets to toss the coin. It's absurd. Now, remember, Sterling also got charged with obstruction for, of justice right. because he had one email that was one. missing from his list of emails. One. And they had, had no proof that he deleted or anything. Hillary Clinton has 30,000 emails or whatever that she hasn't shown. So obstruction for justice, absolutely. You know, yeah, and, and the national right. media is giving, giving the, uh, Hillary Clinton uh, and the Obama administration a pass on the whole thing. Uh, that is what is, know, is truly breathtaking to me. You know who's not, Lou? Sorry to well, jump in. You know who's not, though? Everyone that I've talked to in federal law enforcement. So I'm here in San Diego. We got a lot of federal law enforcement. I have friends, uh, Navy SEALs, DEA, Border Patrol, NCIS. You've got a, you've got a good class of friends there, partner. No, well, indeed. Um, I'm the lowest on the totem pole there. Um, they know that th their superior has broken the law. They've all told me that if they did anything remotely like this, they would be yeah. fired like that and thrown in jail. So we got to think about the morale issue on everyone below our leaders as yeah. well. It has a big effect. It, it is. It's extraordinary where the, 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 inc the incompetent leadership, by the way, it extends in some quarters to the private sector as well and level, on all levels of government. The quality of leadership in this country, it, we're, we're desperate for stronger leadership. Look at. I'm sorry, go ahead. Look at the Democrat debate. And we have Do a I socialist have there, and none of the Democrats want to diff well, they don't want to distance themselves from the socialist. We have these people are communists. The Democrat Party is dead. There are no Democrats left. They're all communists, and all they want to do is take other people's money and rob people of the American dream because the American dream is wealth. And they want to go get the people who got the wealth, and then they want to redistribute it so it's no longer wealth. And the American dream is the the, the little guy who wants well, who wants to create that wealth, who wants to to grab that dream, and all they're doing is stealing it, stealing the American dream from everybody. Well, the, and yeah, the don't media is a The question that is searing everyone's curiosity at this point is whether Joe Biden, Mike, yep. will run. You, you get to make <laughs> the final declaration I was, here. 
I was just going to say, Sam, don't worry, because Joe Biden's going to ride in on his white horse and save the day for the Democratic <laughs> Party. Um, now, listen, I may have to disagree with you guys a little bit. I think Obama said what he said publicly about Hillary's emails. But behind the scenes, I think in the end, he's going to push the FBI to throw Hillary under the bus and clear the way for a... Um, a Biden presidency, why would he hire Hillary Clinton to be Secretary of State? Really? Like, because she's the most knowledgeable person about foreign affairs? We're going to have... Keep your enemies close. We'll see where the intrigue leads us. Mike, thanks so much. Sam, appreciate it. Thank you. Have Luke. a great weekend, guys. Thanks, Sam. Thanks.